Guess who's back? It's me. Back again. Yeah, boy. Jerk Review's back. <laughs> Tell <Finally>. a friend. <laughs> Finally, after, what, it's been 10 months? It has been 10 yeah. months, which is really weird to think of because it's gone quite quick. Yeah, it doesn't feel like 10 months, but yeah, life got in the way. I've still got out about three or four videos without Yeah, you, you tried to replace me, which upset me a little well, bit. I did two by myself. Which I'll probably continue with the ups and downs. Yeah. It's a nice little yeah. let the people d- see the face. I did enjoy the beautiful face. seeing you. That was fun. <laughs> uh, I had some alone time there. It was very different. It was strange being in front of a camera rather than just black screen. Yeah, well, you do have a face for radio, so let's, let's stick with this. <laughs> the thing is, everyone can now look at my ups and downs and tell that that's not true. <laughs> They're like, this no, is true. actually, he's quite beautiful. <laughs> Can't deny this. But I did do one or two commentaries. Yeah. With friends. Yes. Which, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like know I how said, you took that. Uh, I took it well. I cried myself to sleep the first time. The second time, I think I was over it. But but it's yeah. okay. I saved the most fun in special movies for you. Excellent. Well, Speaking of fun in special movies, we have got Jumanji. I haven't seen this film probably since I was a kid. And I think this same. is the original Jumanji, we should say. Not... It is. It's which, the original Robin Williams. Yeah. Um, I'm not expecting The Rock to show up quite yet. No, um, but on the subject, I haven't seen The Rock's Jumanji, despite it being very popular. And I have been meaning to see it, but I haven't seen it, so I'm just going to wait till we do a review. I've heard that they've smashed it in the box office, so we'll try and get onto that. We'll see if we can find it. Uh, We'll try to get that out for you, but for now... But today we're going back to the 90s. Yep. It was a while back this. I think it was early 90s. Well, I don't know. I was born in in the... in the 90s. The same. The 90s, baby. I think we're slightly older than this movie. I'm, well, do not quote me, but I no, think it's yeah, about I 94. Know, I don't know. Yeah, well, then in that case, we're definitely older. Um, we were early 90s babies. Yeah. The best just... of the bunch, let's be honest. <laughs> the, the rest of the 90s, those babies weren't as good quality. We were... The first batch were good. We never messed with fidget spinners. <laughs> <laughs> we never messed with a lot of things, to be honest. No, it was Pokemon cards. That was the yeah. thing. That was the thing. Yeah, I remember that. And the uh, the shiny ones were was what I was all about. I oh, the shiny yeah. Ones. And everyone had a mate who stuck a shiny card in the washing machine and ruined it. Mm, I don't remember that. Your uh, mates must be weird. No, it was just the kids I went to school with then. Oh, God. <laughs> I was just delighted, like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> just delighted that mine was fine. So, this is Robin Williams, classic Robin Williams. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen this in years. Like no. proper primary school child, like yeah, really I think young. This, I must have been a kid when I saw this. So I think we'll get to relive and re-enjoy the movie. I think we'll be surprised by people who are in it who we recognise. We'll yeah. keep an eye out for Kevin Hart and The Rock, but he might be hiding in the bushes <laughs> in the corner somewhere. I don't know. Well, he is a rock. Yeah. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> we are big fans of The Rock. We love The Rock. Yeah, on I this do like channel. The Rock. I actually like Kevin Hart as well. Well, I like him in small doses. I'm like... lucky that he is a small dose. <laughs> I like him in films. I'm not a huge fan of his stand up. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think he's that. better in situations with other people, but on his own on the stage, I don't think he's as entertaining. But that's mm. just me. I think I get fed up with him on chat shows where he just mm. shouts a lot. He has to, he's small. It's little, little, uh, little man syndrome is essentially what he's got. <laughs> oh, no. So there's going to be someone who's just angrily turning off the video now, like, <laughs> how dare they? That is so rude, not having that. But um, I guess what we're here for is our movie commentary. We've not even started yeah, the movie yet. So people who are regulars to our channel will know how this works. If this is your first time with the video, welcome. Stick around, watch some more. Uh, what we do is we can't show you the movie. We're just not allowed to. If we would stick the movie on YouTube, it would get taken down. Our channel would get destroyed and everyone, the world would be devastated. Yeah, they would. They would. It would be an absolute nightmare. So what we'll need you to do is we need you to line it up on your TV, on DVD, on your uh, video game consoles, you know, your Xbox, your PS4. Your laptop. On your you laptop. You went to DVD on your before laptop. I did. <laughs> I was going alphabetical order. Yeah, okay. Oh, but right. I started with TV. <laughs> <laughs> this is a shambles, this is. I, it's, it's been a while. Yeah. So um, all you have to do is get the movie lined up on a laptop or TV, DVD, a phone, whatever, and then play this video alongside. We'll count you down, tell you when to press play. You watch the movie, you've got our commentary alongside it, and it just enhances the viewing experience. Exactly. It's like being at a cinema with your friends. It improves it. Yes. It's like Gogglebox, but we're not as annoying. Oh, I don't like Gogglebox. <laughs> you don't, no, do I you? Do. No, I enjoy not, it. I'm not I don't mind it. I don't like it. Is watching people watch TV? 
Yeah, it's brilliant. Love it. Oh. <laughs> well, no. this is people listening to us watch right, movies. Right, but we're making interesting commentary on films. We it's are. Like a, a li- like a live review. Yeah, Google nobody... Box is just sitting there looking and making not very interesting True, and nobody understands movies the way we do. We have a keen <laughs> insight, I feel. <laughs> we do. So all you want to do is get it lined up. We've got it lined up on Netflix at the moment. So we know that it is on Netflix and it is available to stream on Netflix. Some of you might have it on VHS. Yes, it is that <laughs> old. For those of you who still have a VHS or v- VCR player, oof, that's oh, going back. Yeah, that's that a throwback. Yeah. So we will count you down, uh, ready to press play. Uh, as we always say, please remember to like the video, subscribe. That lets us know that you appreciate what we're doing. And we'll start providing a bit more videos at, <laughs> well, at yeah, a that's higher the rate. Idea, but we'll see how things go. Oh, come on now. I don't want to give them false hope. No, no, not, nor do I. That's what I said. <laughs> no, we will start producing more as long as we can see that the audience is appreciating it. Yeah. And please also feel free to leave a comment requesting other movies for us to watch. We're more than happy we to do We have done that. a request before, so... We, we have. That was, that was the Emoji movie, wasn't it? Yes. That was a great time, wasn't it? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> I have questions over that movie. Feel free to click on our Emoji movie commentary to see quite what we felt yeah. about it. <laughs> Right, right. right let's get into get it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. All right. So you should have the movie lined up, ready to play, and I will count you down. Now, if you missed this, where I count us down into the movie. Oh, this is my favourite bit. Right. Get ready to press play in three, two, one, and play. If it will work right. Hold oh, on no. a second. <laughs> oh, it's not worked for us. We're having technical, technical the, difficulties. The director can... Uh, potentially edit this mishap out he is hoping this is weird this has never happened no, to me this, no, this, <laughs> this is new to me as well right i think we're ready to go here yep so we'll start in oh i can't this is bizarre major tech problems what is going on here well this is embarrassing <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay, finally. Right, we're ready. Right, one more I might time. have to edit that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> or I might leave it in. Who we'll knows? see. <clears throat> right, you should be all lined up, ready to go. And I'll count you down in three, two, one, and play. And it's working. Yes. Fantastic. Cool. For those of you who don't know why the countdown is hilarious, it's because uh, my esteemed colleague here uses his fingers to count down, despite no one being here. I do. I love it. Which gives me a giggle every time. It helps me. If no one else, it helps mm. me. Because I do struggle going from three down to one. Well, <laughs> counting is difficult for some. It is. Right. You can tell it's old-fashioned. Like, even this, like, green, green waves. smoke. It's like an old PlayStation game. I, you know what? I missed the original PlayStation. I still have mine at home somewhere. I, no, I gave mine away for a box of chocolates. Did you actually? Yeah. Is that a true story? That is a true story. I gave away my PlayStation for a box of chocolates. Was this when PlayStation 2 had come out? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd got myself a PlayStation 2. Okay, fair enough. That's what I tell you what, some chocolates will have more use to me than a PlayStation. Well, you have put on the pounds. (laughs) Well, because this was not a video, I didn't think I'd have to mention that. (laughs) I'm still in okay shape. You're beautiful. Every day you look better. Thank you. You you age like a fine wine. (laughs) Or a smelly cheese. I'm not sure which one. You're so kind to me. We're we're already ignoring the movie. Well, it's just... Oh, he's terrified of drum beats, yeah. So he's landed on a box and he's terrified... Terrified of drum beats. Well, who wouldn't be? It does add quite a bit of atmosphere, drum beats. It does. It's very jungle-like. Makes me think that this movie might have something to do with the jungle. That's Absolutely. over dramatic. Oh, and the lightning knew it's Kia. Also, <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't remember this bit of the movie. No, it's they've gone back to 1869. When they originally found... Well, just to show that they buried it in the past. Oh, they buried it? Yeah, that's what they were doing. They were burying it. I thought they were it. digging it up. No, they were burying it. So now the soil's playing a funky drum beat. Hmm, funky drum beat. Isn't this the same street that... Marty McFly went back to the future. I don't think so. He looks very similar with that church top thingy. Gotta love 69. Look at the clothes. 
Well, it is I, the late I, 60s. I never understood brown as your main colour choice. Uh, see, I hate to say this. Do you have a but, pair of brown um, trousers? No. But I had a Welsh teacher back when I was at school. I went to school in Wales. And I had a Welsh teacher who wore this these brown cord trousers. Oh, God. They were horrible. And she wore it with a multi... She? Yeah, she. Oh! And she wore it with a multicoloured striped, horizontal striped oh, top. Oh, no. And I went to her. I called her over and I said, Miss, never mix brown with colour because it makes the brown look dull and the colour look boring. What did she say? She just went, thank you, and walked off. <laughs> I didn't realise how bad it was until a few years later. To be fair, it sounded like decent advice. I know, but I don't think she wanted to hear it from an 11-year-old. Well, then she should be dressing better. Come on. Uh, This is classic old-school bullying tactics where they chase them on their bike. This is a little bit Forrest Gumpish, but on... I was thinking more um, It, where they chase them in It. Have you seen It? No. Well, we could do a commentary on that. We could, seeing as that's our forte. It is. Oh, the reactions. Wouldn't they be ever so grand? <laughs> I was thinking about reading it, because I saw that the book was on sale. The book is messed up. Oh, is it? Is it worse than oh, the film? It the thing is, is I'm not really up. into... Is it like supernatural stuff, or is it just a horror? It's a... Well, Stephen King does a lot of supernatural, and I, I'm not really into that genre. I don't really care for Without it. Without revealing too much, Pennywise the Clown is an alien. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, this just made it interesting. You may have sold this to me. But you don't find out it's an alien until later on, and it doesn't actually make a difference. It's still just a... That trainer is ugly. Is that like an early Jordan? I think so. See, we've not been talking about this at all. We've only started no, talking about Stephen King. the first time I've listened to what they're saying. I recognise that case. He's right, though. What He's is- about, about that shoe being in every kid's closet in America. I think that's the joke. Oh, right. Yeah, I think that's oh. what they're sort of getting at. Oh, dear. He's told him before. I think he's more dangerous on the street because the kids are after him. Potentially. I, that shoe's getting in trouble. <laughs> they're tracking <laughs> his, bicycle. his bike. <laughs> this will show him. <laughs> Like, ow, do you feel that? <laughs> oh, the shoe's going in the machine. I wouldn't have a go at that guy. <gasps> no! It's the shoe. The shoe's going to get no. destroyed. Is that the destroyer? Yeah, it's it's destroying the machine. It's sabotage. That's oh, what it is. Oh, no. You know oh, what? Sab- His son did that. Yeah. So Wait, the son did it with the guy's shoe. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, you gotta own up to your dad. Oh, that sucks. Why is he taking the blame for that? Also, as an ethnic minority in America in the 60s. Hmm. I don't know where you're going with this. No, I was going to say, in re- in reality, he'd be in huge trouble, poor bloke. Why would, why would he be? I that? think he's going to get sacked here. Oh, does he? I think so. Oh. I think he's getting sacked. Poor and bloke. this spoiled What's rich this? kid, rather than take what a five minute telling off from his dad, yeah, he doesn't want to do anything. He's ruined right? that poor guy's life. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. So he's not the hero of this movie. He's the villain. He deserves this. <gasps> so then, ah, oh, because then he play he plays the game with that. His, his friend? That I think he's late. about to find the game now. Because the drums have just kicked in. Oh, okay. Again, if I heard drums on a construction site, I wouldn't be like, oh, let's have a wander. This is what, is what cracks me up in films. Something strange happens, and the first thing they do is go straight towards it. <laughs> yeah, and they walk over slowly or wide-eyed. It's like, no. <laughs> if I found something weird beating in the forest, or in the ground somewhere, I'd run the opposite direction. <laughs> you can tell they're all construction workers because they've all got checked shirts and hard hats. Well, it's so like the technically, uniform. this kid has a check shirt too. He does. It must be the times. Also, it's the 60s. No one's stopping him. Yeah. But, I mean, who wears a smart button-up shirt when you're working in dirt? Well, I think it used to be Lumberjacks used to wear it because it was a flannel shirt, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was, like, kept them cool and warm at the same time or something? I don't know. Does it do that? I'm not sure. I'm just I'm sort of making that up. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a juxtaposition there. Yeah. That's your word of the day. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> We're uh, getting a lecture here as well on the finer points of English. He's going to get so much dirt under his fingernails. It's lucky that he found it before the builders found it. Yeah. I mean, they'd probably just smash it up, wouldn't they? Then we'd get no movie. This is what happens when you become too nosy for your own good. See, he's brushed that dirt off, which was completely unnecessary. That is a good song, by the way. He's about to lift the lid and it'll just fall off. I think he just enjoys being filthy. Don't we all? (laughs) Oh, how did I see that coming? (laughs) That's right, brush the sand away. You know what? I recognise this kid. I really recognise him, but I don't know where from. Do we ever find out who made Jumanji? No, I don't think so. Unanswered questions. So he's just seen a kid on the construction site opening up a random chest. And running off. He's just going to stand there and stare at him. He's just like, I don't get paid enough to deal with this. It's a decent house, though. It's the original White House. I've always wanted those uh, White House style pillars in front of my house. Really? Yeah, quite that way. Ooh, I think they're a bit garish. What are they called? Columns? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think columns and pillars both count, don't they? Yeah, but columns sounds grander than pillars. <laughs> it's more ancient Greek. Yeah. They're terrible so far. You know what? Like, 60s, 70s America and 50s, their interior styling was so naff. Everything was very old granny style. Well, that's because they're now old grannies. No, but even you look at it now, yeah, true. I can see what you put, what you mean. But it, they went through a long period of just making very boring furniture. Yeah, it's compared it's to the such Europeans, a movie thing where they hide something under a high sofa, as if no one can see it. Concerned mother is concerned. I was going to say, I'm assuming that's her mum, because a family that rich could get a nanny, couldn't it? That is a nice table. They're showing how lonely the boy is. You really had it coming, this then. He what, sorry? You really had this coming, then. Yes. The spoiled behaviour in the factory. See, that's the problem is Jumanji's a two player game and he's so lonely. Doesn't he play with that girl, though? I think he does. I, like there is a girl I can't in remember why she shows up, though. The only friend he has? Oh, that's a 90s dress, isn't it? Well, not Very. 90s, I guess it's 50s or 60s. It's the 60s, it's the 60s. Yes. Yeah. He's got a full glass of milk with his dinner. Yes. <laughs> isn't it she saying, well done for getting beaten up? Where you would get bullets oh. more. <laughs> he was he was just gonna kick him out of the house anyway. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> just no, he doesn't want him here. It's such a rich posh person stereotype, isn't it? Just send your kid off to boarding school. I'd do the same to be honest. You would. It, it would it's awful, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> it would save me a lot of trouble. <laughs> Strong Sounds words. back. Ooh. Ooh, rebellious child. He's only like 10 or 11, isn't he? <laughs> See how his wife's trying to calm him down without touching him. Oh, there <laughs> <go>. <laughs> Ooh, the dad's not that friendly, is he? To be fair, the kid isn't that friendly either. <laughs> no. Yeah, no one's likeable in this apart from the Guy who lost his job. I know, poor guy. And he came up with a shoe that's going to be in every kid's. Uh, yeah, the guy's a closet. genius. I know. We should be focusing on him. Actually, is there a documentary about the whole Jordan shoe? What about the shoe? Yeah, the basketball shoe, and then the fact that he then obviously they got sponsorship from. Well, they sponsored Jordan. I really don't know much about it. Because I read, I read the book <laughs> Nike shoe, shoe dog. Right. Sorry, sorry. I love how he's going to run away and he packs a loaf of bread in his suitcase. 
I mean, obviously you would. He needs food. <laughs> he needs to carb up. It's, it's a classic uh, young kid running away plan. Oh, the Muslim have like... Wait, babysitter? No, it's the girl. Yeah, I know. She looks like three years older than her. Yeah, I was going to say. That's why I thought nanny. <gasps> what was that? And this is where they're going to make the mistake of playing the game. I feel like she's out of his league. And I feel this friendship is very unlikely. It's just... I can't shake the fact She's that definitely like two, three years older. Than she's either strangely tall for her age, or she's a fair bit older than him. I'm sorry, but a three years older blonde girl wouldn't be hanging out with him? No. No. A way to leave their world behind. You remember this, don't you? I was just reading it. <laughs> you read it too confidently. <laughs> it was in big red letters. Oh. Or maybe she's five years older than him. See, that must seem cool to them back then. Nowadays, you'd be like, yeah, and? <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, do a flip. Oh, yeah, it's got to be magnetised. Does she throw the dice down as in... To pl- she, she just, just threw she them dropped down. Them, yeah, she yeah. dropped them. No, she's a part of it. So that's going to be bats. This is this is Adam and Eve all over again. How? <laughs> Eve ate the apple, apple yes. and she threw the dice. Yeah, they're exactly the same. <laughs> no difference at all. Is God going to come down and tell them off for playing Jumanji? <laughs> Wait, so are there two pieces? One's an elephant. What's the other one? A hippo? Or I think she was a rhino. Oh, a rhino, that's it. And then, I think he gets sucked into it here. Sucked in? Yeah. Like, in the jungle, you must wait until the dice read five or eight. I think he ends up in the game. Oh, he's getting sucked oh. in. That's, that's 90 you know what? CGI. Yeah, it's but not that's bad actually, for the No, 90s. I was going to say, it doesn't actually look that bad. It looks pretty decent. It looks like he's made out of sand. She doesn't know where to look. <laughs> Do you blame her? And then here come the bats. Wait, so he got sucked in and the bats come out? Because her one, when she rolled, she got bats, but he rolled before the bats came to get them. There's a bit of a time lag there. <laughs> you know what? When I was a kid, that might have scared me, but that looks hilarious now. Oh, it's like a terrible, like, um, sock puppet, isn't it? You kind of look cute. Not a fan of bias. I don't think anyone in the world is right now. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's if you think a bat's responsible. Well... We won't get into that. No, let's not debate this. <laughs> we won't get into that. See, it's 26 years later now. He's been stuck in the jungle for 26 years. So the parents, what, abandoned the... House after oh. the sun went missing. So this woman's going to move in. So these would be like the two main kids. Yeah, yeah. Who will do it along with Robin Williams. So Robin Williams is going to be that boy all grown up. And then the lady comes back as a grown lady as well. I don't know the lady who plays her though. I don't think they will. Again, who needs to do that? She said, I'm sure you and your kids will be happy. You'd just be like, oh yeah, cool. You wouldn't be like, oh, (gasps) by the way, their parents are dead. It's Kirsten Dunst, yeah. I was going to say... She was a Wait, bit of isn't a... she English? I don't think she is. I thought she was... Amer- is she English? I thought she was American. I don't know. What else has she played in, Carson? Don't... She was in Spider-Man. She was Mary oh, Jane. Oh, of course. That's the way I know her from. Um, she was in that Wimbledon movie. The no, tennis but, one. I mean, no, I didn't watch that. Nor do, nor do I care for it. Um, she was in Interview with a Vampire when she was a kid. The Tom Cruise Brad Pitt thing. You seem to have... A lot of knowledge. Well, we are movie experts here. (laughs) Remember? Yes, yes, experts. (laughs) Movie experts. Um, Yeah, the only thing I remember vividly from is her being MJ in Spider-Man with... uh, Tobey Maguire. I can't take Tobey Maguire's face seriously when he tries to be serious. I can't take his face seriously. (laughs) No! You know the bit in Spider-Man where... I know we've gone off on a tangent here. 
But in Spider-Man... He's right, they're just talking about their dead parents. Oh. Go on. <laughs> yeah, so he was he was just been bitten, and he's just worked out that he's got these powers, and he wants to run and jump over the building. Yeah. His face there, can't take it seriously, <laughs> and I don't like it. I remember him for emo Spider-Man. Well, because he's sad. <laughs> oh, she was laughing at that woman. She was pretending to cry over her dead parents, and then she laughed as she walked away. Oh. That's, Why are that's the kids in here so unlikable? I know. Why is everyone unlikable? I hope Jumanji wins. I hope all the animals get them. Now, looking back on this now, I'm rooting for Jumanji. <laughs> yeah, I'm rooting for the weird board game. That's a... Wait, so they just abandoned the entire place and even come back and get their books? No, or they any just other disappeared. That's crazy talk. I'm sure they'll explain what happened to the parents at some point. Okay. Nice moustache. Like they have all the tense music, it's like it's a statue. Oh, just struggling with the locks there. Wait, why does one single lady with two small children need a house How's that this huge? big? I think she got it dead cheap because it's the, haunted. I don't know. People don't like buying houses with weird pasts, do they? No. It's because it's oh, especially if they're sort of like secluded houses as well. I think people yeah. just their imaginations just go. It's because there's been a few movies where like terrible things happen in a house and then it's haunted, and people believe that that's real. Yeah. And I don't really. Oh, there's a bat. Manly scream. Yes. Manly scream. Love it. I do feel like this house is just too big for them. No matter how cheap you got it. Is she the comic relief, this girl? Because it's just a pile of horrible one-liners she's just randomly throwing out here. Yeah, but she's not playing a huge role here. No, I think but she's one of the main ones, isn't she? No, she doesn't play the game. No, not the lady, Kiss and Dunst. Oh, right. She was a kid. Her acting's not going to be that good. No. To be fair, her acting wasn't that good in, in Spider-Man either. I can't remember. I think I fully bought into it, but I was a kid. Boy, did you manage no, um, MJ. Spider-Man. Yeah. No, I, I didn't like Toby's face even when I was younger. <laughs> That's so unreasonable. <laughs> well, we'll end up watching Spider-Man at some point. You just know just, it. Just not a fan of Toby McGuire's face. Oh, so you're saying that you got some bats back in the 60s. Coincidence. Oh. Now they come back again. Maybe this is the world's version of Jumanji. The what version? The world's version of Jumanji. Well, the bats have come back again. Oh. Okay, right. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm really slow with this. You know what Toby Maguire was good in, though? What? Um, Great Gatsby. I've not seen it. Oh, love it. I mean, I like the book, but the film was also quite good. I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> so this is where we got all the backstory of the kid went missing. But I don't get why they needed to tell us, because... We've already I mean, seen we already it. know, yeah. Oh, drums. Oh. Oh, we get a clean up the house montage now. Wonderful. Oh, God, that ugly sofa again. I know, can't we get rid of this sofa? I don't know what's worse, that sofa or Toby Maguire's face. Will you <laughs> leave that? <laughs> Poor Toby. It's so <laughs> irrational. Imagine the off chance he ended up seeing this and just being like, oh... Imagine that Toby Maguire's at home watching our videos. <laughs> He's like, this is excellent commentary. Oh no, <laughs> they don't like me. <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> don't worry. Has that kid ever been anything else? Who? The boy. Oh, now we're getting the backstory again. Yes, Kirsty. And one day you'll be MJ. I, don't you get the feeling this movie could be 20, 30 minutes shorter if they didn't keep saying the same thing over and I over like again? I feel like a lot of films like that, though. Yeah, it's true. Oh, more sass from children in this movie. Yeah, I'm not enjoying the, the Back youth. Chat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 60s youth was not a nice Oh, she's movie. 90s now, isn't she? Because 26 years later from 69. Oh. Suddenly your math is all good. Yeah, so that would make it 95, wouldn't it? Is this when the film actually came out? That'd be quite cool if they had. I think that's what they've done. Yeah. Tied it up. But it's like, do you remember when we watched Terminator and they were talking about the future and it was like our past? Yeah, that is true. 
Did, I enjoy, so long did I enjoy Terminator? We had a bit of an argument about time travel. Ah, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say argument. I'd say disagreement about time travel. But that sort of took over our commentary <laughs> for the back half hour. Again, feel free to find that and watch that. <laughs> it's. I think it's going to go, go, going to go down as one of our greats. Um, I don't know about that. You know what? We should have a vote on which is our best commentary so far. You'd be annoyed if it was one of the ones I did without you. Ooh, that would hurt. <laughs> that would hurt hard. <laughs> I think I know which one would win. Which one? Like, I think it'd be between Scorpion King and Baywatch. We did enjoy Baywatch. Although there's an outside shout for the Emoji movie. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like that's our best comment. I don't know. We were just in a bit of a blind fury for most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what film made us the most angry? The Emoji Movie, I think. Out of all of them, I think the Emoji Movie. Yeah, possibly. I can't think what else we did. You know, rather than properly talk about Jumanji, we spent all the time plugging our other videos. The thing is, this is the, just the preamble. It is we the haven't preamble. Really got to the we're waiting Jumanji for it to stuff. properly kick in. I remember we didn't enjoy Reservoir Dogs as much as we thought we would. You're right. That was a letdown. That was a disappointment. Yeah. I actually sort of watched Inglorious Bastards. Um, oh, did you? Yes, yesterday. I think it's quality. I love that. One. Uh, yeah, that's one of my favourite Tarantino films actually. Django as well. I remember Rim of the World. Remember Rim of the World? Oh. That was rubbish. That's a blast from the past. Yeah, I still think Emoji Movie was the one that we got most irate at. Yeah. It was an irritating movie. <laughs> uh, the jungle drums have kicked in. I think we're finally going to kick on now. Wait, so when the parents got back and found that their kid was missing, did they just what, pick up, up the game, left, yeah. put it in the attic? And well, yeah, because then... it would have been left on the coffee yeah. table. So that Surely that would be like a main bit of police evidence. It should be in some police locker. <laughs> And they just stuck it under a pile of other board games. Yeah. How do they know to go straight for the Jumanji, though? I don't know. The noise is getting louder the closer you get to it. Wow. So they've got to finish the game now, <laughs> don't they? Yeah. So I think if they roll, like, an eight... Or is it, I think it was five or eight, and the guy can come back. Should be a seven, because seven's the most common roll of two dice. Probability wise. A way to leave their world behind. Big red letters. Deja vu. <laughs> Our doubles get another tier. It's like Monopoly. I love Monopoly. Can you imagine if like Monopoly became real? <laughs> and you've suddenly got banks and loan <gasps> Oh no, it is real. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly got bankrupt in Chase for Money, sent to jail for no reason. There might be some reason. <laughs> Six, that's not going to release Robin Williams. No, but it'll start the game. What's that, an elephant? I think she's got an elephant. Or is that a crocodile? Ah, oh, a crocodile. The back was all like... Crocodile-ish. So, we've got to lean... How do they know to lean in that there'll be words? A tiny bite. So is that like a spider? Oh, oh no. no. Mozzies. Oh, this movie's going to be full of children's screams. Like child actor screams. Oh, nice. She's playing tennis with them. See, this is early CG where they're like, just wave the racket in the air and we'll put the bugs in later. <laughs> they still do that, technically. I know, but people are a bit more like attuned to it now. Yeah. But honestly, this isn't bad for the time. I've seen more modern films with worse CGI. Yeah, no, that is true. But this probably would have been huge budget back then, wouldn't it? Yeah. This would be like their like end game. <laughs> Oh, he rolled. Where did he roll? Oh, he only rolled two. Oh, monkeys. So now they're going to be... I've got a feeling the monkeys are going to look awful. I think the CGI is going to be horrific for the monkeys. Yes, possibly. The bats... Oh, dear. Again, could be worse. Yeah, I'm surprised at how... Um... How okay this is. <laughs> You're just expecting it to be awful. No, it's just that, you know how sometimes some movies, when you watch 
them back after a good. I mean, this is they don't hold up. But yeah. yeah, I think this is actually holding up quite well. Mm. No, in fairness to it, I think the weakest point is the dialogue. Yeah, but to see, it's kids. Like when you watch back Harry Potter, it look it feels awful when the kids are acting because they're kids. In fairness, I think Harry Potter was all right. No, in fairness, it wasn't. Okay. The, the, the <laughs> I best, stand corrected. The best... If it wasn't for people like Snape and the adults acting... So like Alan Rickman and Michael Gambon. Yeah, yeah. Those guys. Those guys were... Cause they're, but they're professional actors. The kids... The kids' stuff is terrible. They got better as went on. Like, Daniel Radcliffe's a solid actor. No. No, he's not. Oh, he is. No, no, he's not. I would say that the... What's the girl's name? Emma Watson. Her acting skills is better. She does all right as well, but I don't like a. You'll want to see some non Harry Potter Daniel Radcliffe. I have. He did that weird movie with the horns. Yeah, I loved that movie. I thought it was great. But I, he just comes across as just Harry Potter after school every time he does a film <laughs> with an American accent. Yeah, he just it just feels like Harry Potter has left school and has become a second rate actor. Oh, stop it! I mean, you I would be take, so cruel. I would take Tobey Maguire's face over Harry Potter's acting. Why are they still playing? Clearly, they're enthralled by it. His fangs are sharp. Is that going to be a, a tiger? Saber tooth? Oh, it's a lion. Not someone, something. He looks like the Narnia tiger. Lion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got Tiger King on the brain. Oh, you watched that? Yeah. I saw it before it became like the big thing that it is now. That is a fake looking lion. Yeah. That's definitely looking CGI-ish. No, it is real. Well, I mean, it's obviously not real, because you see how fake it is. Why didn't they shut the door? That line is huge as well. <laughs> oh, classic Robin Williams. It's possibly not his best role. Oh, he did alright, no? Oh, no. I'll never complain about Robin Williams. I'm being... I don't think I could name a bad Robin Williams movie. Um, no, I don't think I can either. I'm sure I could find one if I went through I hope his... we really, really If I went through his back catalogue. <laughs> See? Shut the door. There we go. That's all you have to do. That line gave up easy. Yeah. Like, why would you make yourself this weird, like, banana... Not banana hat. No, remember, like, he's, in, hat. he's just gone from the forest, so that would camouflage him. He looks odd now in a house. In the forest, he'll look fine. He's like, this is my old house. Yeah. Do you think his attitude has improved since he's been in isolation for two, 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 I hope so. six years or whatever? I really hope so. Because it really stunk when he was younger. Mm, I, I wouldn't take any more sass from him. No, absolutely not. Is his room? Bedroom? I think this is his old bedroom. Horrible wallpaper. I would never have wallpaper like that as a kid. I don't, I'm not a fan of wallpaper in general. If, as a feature wall, yes, but I wouldn't cover the entire room in wallpaper. No matter how nice the pattern is. I don't think you'll. Hold He's got up. a very strange relationship with that bicycle. Yeah. He was his only friend. It was as well. That's the sad part. I'm not sure that girl was his friend or not. I really no, can't tell. I think she mostly just took pity. I think it was. I mean, she didn't even want to play the game. No, she didn't. She was walking out. They realised the game was magic. In fairness, he wanted to leave as well. Oh, this is our emotional moment where he remembers his past. Where did he get that from? Those are the glasses he was wearing earlier. Oh, right. Except he's only got one now, because it must have got smashed at some point. Ugh. He's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like a fully grown bearded man chasing a child. Yes, in <laughs> any other situation, we'd be calling the police. And then stroking his face. 
Oh, he thinks his parents are still going to be there. Are they alive? I know they moved away. I've got the feeling they'll be dead. Oh, yeah, just don't they go to the graveyard? The, if they are dead, there will be a scene where they go to a graveyard. I feel like there is a scene. It's a classic movie cliche. <laughs> oh. Surely he'd just be like, your clothes are weird. Oh, it's just as well they found out the backstory. I mean, come on, mate. Two plus two does equal four. <laughs> Put it together. <laughs> there's going to be a shaven scene. I Is mean, there? Oh, there's got to be. He's not oh, going to do the whole movie with that beard. I, can't, oh, I just can't remember it. All right, MJ, calm down. I'm just going to call it MJ if this. <gasps> the police are going to chase him. That's the guy from the factory, isn't it? That's the guy who got sacked from the factory. No, is it? I think it is. But he's got a cool moustache now. Oh. That is him, isn't it? The hair's moved from his head to his upper lip. <laughs> you were right. Yeah. Maths. Smashed it. Oh, good Tarzan joke. Oh, they all talk in riddles. It's like, come on. Saving since 74. So he went five years without a job. Poor bloke. Are you sure it's him? What? Monkeys? Oh, the monkeys are stealing the car. Classic monkey. Yeah, he looks like a crazy guy. <laughs> yeah, monkeys, like it's an everyday... Monkeys, of course it's monkeys. <gasps> I like how this girl is covering for him. Yeah, she's quite after meeting, clever for a child. For, after meeting him for like 30 seconds. She's very trusting of him. Yeah, I think the police also, officer believes in monkeys now. How do these now. monkeys know how to drive their car... Yeah, because it's going to be like clutch and gear stick and I mean, all that. I mean, the gun thing, yeah, you, you pull the trigger by accident, but what, putting in gear, stepping on the gas first time round? I think if we're going to accept the whole like bloke getting sucked into a board game and... We have to accept the bunkers yeah, can drive. We're, we're, we're just going to have to accept. He, he looks like he fits into that neighbourhood. Oh, the town's gone to pieces. It's no longer a thriving community. Oh, no. It's because the factory closed down. Yeah. Oh, there's still people coming out of the adult film shop. That will always happen. Oh, well, not anymore. I just go online now. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like the experience of going into the store. It's Wonderful. More, it's, more, it, it's more tactile. <laughs> you just like walking through the beaded doors. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best bit. Oh, it's been proper being down the factory. Okay, so that guy who lost his job, like, the factory went to hell anyway. <laughs> he went back. <laughs> he went back. He took his justice. If anything, that guy um, probably uh, got out while the going was good. But it's like, would the whole town collapse without the factory? Well, no. Some some small towns were... Yeah, they were, I guess. They, were surra- the, they existed because of one industry. So if that industry, one or two factories, go... Making shoes. <laughs> yeah. It, it, there's nothing else for them to do. It's like when the coal mines close down. When the yeah, entire no, town true. is working yeah, in no, one okay, industry. Yeah. Okay, 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 all right. All Especially right. in a small town. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, there's someone upstairs. Who is it? It'll be some homeless guy, probably. Oh. God, they're really dragging this bit out. More than I remember. I just remember yeah. they're like animals coming and things going crazy. Wait, what? Happened? This is where he says dad. Yeah. It's 
So he spent all his money chasing after his lost boy. And he's like, oh no, and I treated my parents so yeah. badly. Well, that must suck if the last thing you said to your parents was how much you hate them and this, that, and the other. Like, well, it's, it's, them it's, it's the classic thing where something bad happens and the last thing you said to that person was... People put so much value on last words, though. Surely all the years that went before count for more than your final words. Yeah, I just think it's the fact that... Oh, uh, there we go. The graveyard scene. 19... They made it died... to 91. Both of them? Oh, no. May 6th and the other one. August, I don't know. I thought it was the same day, then it might have been a... Uh... Car crash or something. I was going to say suicide, but... <laughs> a bit bleak. Yeah, I know, that's what... That's For what... a light-hearted YouTube commentary. <laughs> yeah, MJ, you need to learn to when to be quiet. Yeah, she's lying about her own parents' death. Told you there was a graveyard scene. Yeah, it's the classic cliche. Uh, right, we got the weepy scene. Can we get back to some? This t- this has been dragged on a little more than a oh, yeah, lot more right. than I expected. I guess they felt like the adult and anim- not the adult since the animal scenes they couldn't fill a whole movie with it, so they had to do this. Or maybe it's that classic character growth which we don't care about as much as we should. <laughs> character development, not something that we're too bothered about. Yeah, we came here for CGI animals. Oh, the monkeys are running wild. Well, that's not a monkey, that's a lady. I wonder what's up with that. Wait, is that, oh, the, la- is that the lady? No, it's... um. People have been getting these diseases because they're getting bitten by these mosquitoes they released. Oh. So they're getting bitten by these mosquitoes and now they're like... Going crazy? I don't know about going crazy, I think they're just passing out. Oh, so the lady who sold them the house. Oh. <laughs> so she's been bug bitten. That's right, just nick the car. He's like, yep, she's unconscious, she's on death's door, she's on her way to the hospital. Let's steal her car. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think that's meant to be a, like, a 90s jump scare. Oh, he's going to start trying to poke through the convertible roof. Ridiculous. These animals are far craftier than anyone suspects. But we saw so many people out and about on the street, they wouldn't try so hard to get into a car. Surely you'd go for the easiest one. And because he said they can't get through the glass, it's going to go through the glass. Of course, he doesn't know how to drive. But the monkeys do? Come on! (laughs) Yeah, seatbelt's the best idea. Not playing the game was the best idea. Yes. But then we'd have no movie. What is he pressing? I have no idea what he's trying to do. Well done. There we go. Oh, it's an automatic. It doesn't have to worry about gears or anything. Lucky. I don't think that someone who doesn't know how to drive could do a power slide like that. If he's just got his foot down and he's just... Well, I don't know. What was a high octane... <laughs> high oh. octane, what, 10 seconds there? Isn't that your MO? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Sometimes 15 if I, on a good high, day. High if I've had my orange seconds. juice. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, get it away from me, get it away from me. Yeah, just run off. Run to another town, you'll be fine. Is the lion still just chilling in their house? I think so, yeah. He's delighted to see a toilet. (laughs) In fairness, he would be. 25 years of leaves. This will be, he'll come out shaven now. Yeah. And they'll do something daft because he's never shaved before and they'll stick like tissue paper all over his face, which is like the American symbol of cut yourself while shaving. 
Oh, he's having a shower. Lovely. Yeah, see, the lion is still just chilling in the house. He's putting it to sleep with his singing. Ooh. Is that his hair or his... It's, his, it's the hair on his head. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> you hope. But here's the thing, like, he wouldn't give he himself... He just dressed the way he dressed when he was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> See? He's got all the tissue paper. The clampers. Very good comeback. Yeah, he's fully just like, yeah, I don't want to get involved. See, he what thinks What the he's... hell? That thing was stuck in the fridge. <laughs> it just shivers and then it's fine. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, reverse psychology. Very good. Oh, he's told him. But they can't play without him, can they? Because they need him to roll. Mm. Like, they can't roll for him, can they? Good point. Well, no. Well, I don't think people can roll for other people. Mm. So many questions. Yeah. This is the whole things are going to get so much worse. Is there like a, uh, a a flooding at one point as well? I remember there being a flood and in the house with like these weird crocodiles in it. Yeah. But I think that's at the end. No, at the end is like a stampede. No, I think a stampede comes first. Stampede? Oh. Because I think they play it in the house at first and the stampede drives them out. Oh, and I think there's a hunter. <gasps> you're right. Like a proper With a big old-fashioned gun. Victorian yeah, hunter. Yeah, 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 you're right. There we go, he's gonna watch. Ooh. I think you are afraid, Matt. Yeah, I think you are shivering in your boots. <laughs> the knife in the Yeah, it's still frame. just there. <laughs> like it's not worth the hassle. Right, there we go. Reverse psychology. They don't... Well, I was going to say they don't look like brother and sister, but then again, I could sort of believe it. I'll accept it. I just can't get over how MJ looks exactly like her adult self as a youngster. Yeah. See, they can't roll for other people. Oh, there's four, four players. Again, two plus two still equals four. Oh no! Put it together. They've got the fourth person to do it. Yeah, they need that woman. He's like, hello, one, two, three, four pieces. That's what I've been saying the whole time. Two plus two is four. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's taking a lot longer to explain it. So now he's realised he's got to get the girl. What if that girl... I know she's obviously alive in this, but what mm. if she had died? How does the game go then? Does the game just get stuck? Yeah, I think it just gets stuck. you just got to make do with the CGI animals running around. What a name. Whittle. I can't believe she stayed in town too. She probably has nowhere else to go. What's about he's like, hi, it's Alan, and she just screams and slams the door? Uh, I'll say. Or faints. The other call is faints. No, I think she slams the door. I'd be really annoyed if you're, you're right. It's the movie. Psychic readings! Oh, for goodness sake. Madam Serena, come on. <laughs> oh. Kids are so gullible. Because you were smaller. 
Surely she would know if they have an appointment. She's got a book. <laughs> right. Movie cliche. She'll either scream and slam the door or faint. I'm Sarah Woodman. Right, here we go. Oh, it suddenly turned into a home invasion. <laughs> like she, he's not letting her shut the door. Also, I recognise this actress as well. Do you? I feel like I do too, but I don't know who it is. I think she's she was the mother in Cheaper by a Dozen. Really? The original. Yeah, she is. Oh. Although, weirdly, she looks older here than she does in the Cheaper by the Dozen. I, it's because they made her look all haggard in this. Unless Cheaper by the Dozen came out in the early 90s. I don't think it did. It came out in the late 90s, right? I mean, like... Well, Taylor Lautner was in the sequel. She fainted? <laughs> yeah, she fainted. Mate, how did you get that Called right? It. I it's genuinely the... thought she slammed the door. Cliche. Oh my god, they've carried her unconscious all the way back. He's going to just push the game in front of her. There we go. Now for the scream. There we go. <laughs> it's almost like you've seen this before. Yeah. It's it's following every movie cliche in the book. Maybe we should start making movies seeing as we know... You know what? The textbook. <laughs> um, yeah. Why not? We'll start a... Um, what's it called? A crowd funder? Yeah. Get yeah, people to fund our movie. Yeah, we need to come up with a uh, a thing though. Oh yeah, a script would take forever to make. Script and idea. I don't see why we couldn't. Then we need to get cameras. Well, I've got a camera. I make my ups and downs with. It's rubbish, but we got one. I think Actually, I've got, I've got, one got a well. friend who's got. Who's I think good I've at got that a, stuff. Yeah. What the editing or the film? I think we're slowly deciding to create a movie here. <laughs> We'll, we'll do a proper pitch meeting later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have a Zoom meeting with everyone. Oh, yeah, a Zoom meeting. Ugh. What's really annoying is that I've been having meetings on every platform available. Oh, I do remember this bit. He tricks her into playing. <gasps> that was not <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's <So> grown up. <laughs> He's a rhino, right? Yeah, that's right. That was so cruel. <laughs> right. Plants. Oh, it's the root thingy. I remember this bit. Root thing? Yeah. The, the tr 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 root, 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 yeah. The roots of a plant. So you're not meant to touch it, or does it just grab whatever it can? It just grows through. So it's like a really over the top vine weed. Oh. Yeah, don't touch them. The poisonous are gonna eat you alive. See, how does he know that? Because this he came from the, he lived in the forest. No, for but surely years. by finding out that it's poisonous barbs, it would have killed him in the jungle. He might have seen something touch them and die. Maybe. I'll let him get away with that. Oh, I see. Nineties <laughs> practical effect there. That is the thing that looks the most fake so far. Yeah. And it looks all kinds of wrong when you look at it straight in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They've got an axe. Alright, in, in a display cabinet. <laughs> oh, it's a sword. Oh, it's a fancy sword. Does he need That's to shout out like a movie action line before he chops it? Like, it's harvest time, slice. It's like, just cut it. Wait, so he cuts it once and that's it, the plant goes away? Well, it's like, 
I don't know, if I was attacking someone they chopped off my arm, I'd back off, I think. Oh, he's so This sad. guy's just having the worst day. Wow. Right, answer them now. There we go. Suspicious character. Yeah, he's so determined to chase Robin Williams, isn't he? He's using the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she is a bit over the top. She needs to be told to calm down. <laughs> this is so wrong. He's literally dragging her against her will. Well, then you finish the game. Was that thing planted? He was on the tapping sun? on the window. <laughs> Let me out. I think this is where we're going to get the stampede. I, th I genuinely thought the stampede was like towards the end. But I remember the, the stampede crashing through the library. Oof. Is he saying he's going to cut her if she doesn't play? Absolutely. Look, we knew he wasn't a very nice person going into this. What made you think 25 years in the jungle would make him nice? Yeah, no, that's fair. He's making fun of her. <laughs> She's like, it ruined my life. He's like, your life? I've been wiping myself with banana leaves. He's got a point. Did she say she was 12? See, I reckon he was 9 or 10, so I reckon she is about 3 years older than him. That mean, yeah, but that means... It's like top trumps. Every time she tries to play something, he's like, ooh, double. <laughs> Anything bad that's happened to you, I've had 10 times worse. Because we won't stop playing. There we go. All right, MJ. <laughs> I'd love it if the little boy was like, I might. <laughs> I might just leave you. Come on, lady. We know what you're going to have to do it. Yeah. They they have drawn it out a bit. But I think we'll get, like, what, 40 minutes of action now. And then it'll be done. It's funny, all the bits you remember come in like a short burst at the end. Yeah. And then there's so much at the beginning that it was just sort of, I hate to say it, filler. Well, yeah, the preamble was quite long. Well, I get that they're taking time to actually like, properly set up a story. The, the scene right at the beginning where the two boys bury it, I mean, that was pointless. It was, and that was just for like dramatic effect. Although, in fairness, we probably shouldn't criticise too much because they have actually developed proper characters with emotions, with backstories. Yeah, but you don't remember that. You just remember the animals and the craziness. Yeah, if you've not seen it for 20 years. I feel like we've never... Oh, this is the hunter. There we go. Oh. Look at him. Victorian hunt. Wait, how did he end up in the jungle? I think he's a character. Oh, in the game. Yeah. So it's like the rhinos and lions and all that stuff are just characters. He brought a sword to a gunfight. <laughs> I think I recognise the guy. Wait, isn't he his dad? Isn't, isn't oh, this... is that the guy who plays his dad? Yeah, plays the hunter? he must be. He's got the same accent. Oh, that's quite funny, actually. But I don't know if it is or not. He does look a little like him. Guy with a gun. You gotta arrest him. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, nope. Why is he shooting the street light? <laughs> right, he's out of ammo. Shoots him. Nah, he's, he's run off. Uh, He's not a great policeman, is he? He's having a mare of a day, that's why. Yeah. He did much better work in the shoe factory. Mate, he was on the cusp of being a millionaire, I reckon. Yeah. And all because that kid was so selfish. Yeah, that kid ruined his life. Yeah. And ultimately his own life he didn't too. want to get told off for five minutes. He's just gone straight back in the house. Oh, 
oh, she's talking rubbish. <laughs> See, he literally flips from dead serious to dead fun like that. I think he's got some issues. All right, you were scared two seconds ago too, jeez. She's a bit of a pain really, isn't she? I think she'll get better as it goes to be honest, on. I think all four of them are a bit of a pain. Yeah, the small boy's okay, I don't mind him. What, just because of his reverse psychology tricks? I liked his reverse psychology tricks. But he's very, like, he gets how the movie works. He's like, let's just, see, even there, he's like, let's just carry on. We're not going to bother with this. He's very much, let's get a move on. He's the one I can relate to. Yes, MJ. Yeah. (laughs) And the boys are, I did just say that to you. Uh, they're having like they're letting Robin Williams have his Robin Williams moment where he is his like little sarcastic argument this is the this is the stampede no the water no this is stampede oh. stampede because the animals go stampeding through the town where is the monsoon thing? I also remember right them, the end. they're in the supermarket at one point. The supermarket? No. I think they do go to a supermarket. I think the hunter chases them in a supermarket. The hunter goes and gets ammo from a gun store. I know that. Oh, doesn't he change his gun so he's not got the blunderbuss anymore? Yeah. <laughs> that's the name of it, isn't it? Now that's a classic scene. Run back and get something. Just the scene where they come smashing through the bookcase. No. Oh. Classic movie moment. I don't think they'd outrun the rhinos. <laughs> Pelicans! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be more concerned about the elephants and rhinos. Oh, it steals the game! Oh no. It's gonna steal the game. Oh, is that why they run into town? Yeah. I think that's why they leave the house. It was a weird sort of slow motion moment where it picked up the game, just for two seconds. Oh. oh. (laughs) I'm not a fan of the astrology. (laughs) That's her using a British accent. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know what? You're going to look up whether she's I'm, British. I'm going to look it up. Kirsten... Oh, that's bad, CJ. No, that's not too bad. I don't like it. I mean, yes, for its time, it's good. Okay. I, I do need to just keep saying that. This is where he's going in to get ammo. Oh, no, it's an American actress. She is American, yeah? Yeah. I think that is the guy who played his dad. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Told you. That's quite cool, though. Yeah, he's skipping the forms just for the coins. Because it's gold, that's why. I thought she was going to give him a machine gun there. I think they do. Oof. That is a beast of a weapon. Ugh. Terrible joke. <laughs> Uh, there we go he's found it it goes in the water doesn't it yeah he flew off into distance he knew he'd find him at this exact spot of river that looks like a fake puppet (laughs) we just caught it a fish oh it just kicked it off yeah it has gone in the water yes it is the same actor Oh, good. Oh, you're looking it all up. I'm looking it all up, yeah. Who plays the woman, then? What, the... The main woman. The main woman? Her. Like, the adult woman. Oh, right. Sarah Whittle. 
Bonnie Hunt. What's she done then? What else has she done? She provided the desert, I told you. Oh, there you go. And Beethoven. Oh, she was in Rain Man. And the Green Mile. Oh, and Jerry Maguire. There oh, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been in a lot of stuff. I knew she was in uh, Cheap Weather Doesn't. That's pretty this kid, six skills from that kid. This kid is impressing us. As I'm a fan one, of the kid. We, um, we're a big fan of the small boy. It's a shame that he's gone on to have the weakest career. Oh. <laughs> I assume I don't even know who he is. <laughs> no, I, I think you're right, though. If we don't know who he is, I don't recognise him else. Well. That's the mark of success, is us knowing who he is. <laughs> oh, and he was the best of the lot. To be fair, this guy's quite good as well. Yeah. The fact he played two characters in one film, has that happened before? Yeah. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Norbert. Oh, yeah, but the whole point of that is that he plays every character in that. In the, what film was it? Big Mama? There must be more people who've done that. No, no, no. In Big Mama, when he goes to his his, his family, he plays all the characters of his own family. Like That's dad, Martin Lawrence, auntie. isn't it? What? Martin Lawrence is Big Mama. Eddie oh. Murphy's Norbert. Martin Lawrence is Big no. Mama. No! Uh, what's the one where Eddie Murphy. Nutty Professor. Nutty Professor. That's the one I was talking about. That's the one I had, that image I had in my head. You know, I don't think I've seen Nutty Professor. Really? The one I where he th- becomes a skinny guy? He's a yeah, fat scientist. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. It's oh. a good film. The policeman's seen him. I the game. As if he's gonna be like, oh, I'm taking this game. You know, I just think it's a board game. How hostile. <gasps> the guy's trying to shoot him. Yeah, this is it the hunter? Yeah. He's in danger. I think he realised the hunter was after him. He's saying vampire, he's trying to let him know. <laughs> he's gonna tell him who he is now. Uh the boy's tried to roll and it's not his turn. Whose turn is it? I think it's Robin Williams' turn. No, it was his turn. Uh, it was his turn. Yeah, it was his turn. He just tried to cheat. Oh, he becomes a little hairy hobbit. I forgot about oh. this. <laughs> no, he turns into a monkey, doesn't he? Yeah, so instead of Teen Wolf, we've got pre Teen Wolf. Oh. <laughs> I was Wizard of Oz with the flying monkeys. Oh, they're loving it. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're all about that life. <laughs> I love how these monkeys are trashing everything. I kind of like the monkeys. <laughs> I'm on their side. Yeah. Like we said, we were on the game side. Mostly because the kids are so... Well, apart from the little boy, the rest of them are all annoying. Oh, this way reveals who he is. <laughs> yeah, he got fired. Oh, poor bloke. Yep, this way you can tell him. That would freak you out. Yeah, it would. He'd be there like, you ruined my life and now you're ruining my day. That means everyone's stealing. <laughs> yeah, looting. <laughs> oh, that boy looks awful. He looks a bit like uh, an early version of the Plant with Apes. Yeah, he does actually. Oh. Oh, it doesn't get to finish his message. See, this boy is the best. Yeah, I know. 
Why is there old people in the street looting as well? <laughs> I think they're running from something. Because look, it's like a human stampede. So they'll be running away from the animal stampede. There we go. Oh, look at you. <laughs> You're too good. Guess in the car. See, we'll have to put an animal stampede in this movie we're making. Oh, they're going to think he's dead, and he's not. He's just crashed a bit. I like how many animals just went right over it. Oh, that would suck. I'd hate to be stuck in that car. <laughs> that one little rhinosaurus. So the hunter's going to get the game back anyway. Didn't make a difference. It was the spirit in, the, in which he... Yeah, took he it. tried. Wait, what does the hunter want the game? So that he can lure Robin Williams back to him. Oh. Why is he so keen on getting Robin Williams? <laughs> Determined to shoot him. He's like, you're a rubbish son. <laughs> Let me shoot you. Oh, because Robin Williams is the one who rolled the number. Oh. So he's there for Robin Williams and no one else. Interesting. I told you there was super, a supermarket involved. Yeah. Sir, so save a lot. <laughs> nice. Uh, more like Sir, so steal a lot. <laughs> They're all just taking what they want. No one's looting this um, vacuum cleaners, though. Yeah. They're going to do that classic bit where he stands on something that he can, like, rolls from under his foot and he'll land in, like, a shelf. Well, that was always going to happen. Yeah. What was the point? Oh. Everyone's like, ah. I'll blow your <laughs> blinking brains out. Lovely. He just bites him. A feral child. See, so now that he's a monkey boy, he'll have rabies. That's right. I'm good. <laughs> Ridiculous. So cheesy. They're having a little heart to heart here. Mmm, Twilight. What, you want to watch the Twilight movie? Absolutely not. <laughs> we can. I think they're on Netflix. No, please don't. Well, there we have it. Next movie decided. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's, he, he already messed with him 26 yeah. years ago, and now he's, he's doing it again. He's to him. He's unlocked him. Oh, man. I feel sorry for this bloke. What's this guy? The police comes Carl. Oh, I feel sorry for Carl. It's Carl something. They did say his surname earlier. Yeah, come on, Carl. Help us out, Carl. Why not just unhook him? He can't because he threw the keys away. Oh. Oh, this is terrible. Poor Carl. Oh, uh, he is having the worst day. Again, if he's never driven, he couldn't do that. Could he? Mm, I don't know. If he's got momentum on his side. <laughs> what oh, he's going to take him down with a canoe. <laughs> he's really all over the road, isn't he? Oh, so they're doing the whole he doesn't realise that everything's changed. It's almost like a kids TV show, you know, where they go through this whole weird set. It's like Wait, Home Alone. What the hell? That's this... what it's like. It's like Home Alone, where he's just yeah. using random stuff to take him down. Hey boy, that's the monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and looking he's for one go... bizarre scenario. He's going to shoot at them. It is. It's like Home Alone. Oh no. What's he going to do? Just shoot her? <laughs> Here we go. Slip. And fall. <laughs> God, it's really protracted. There we go. He's bleating like a sheep. Oh, now he takes him down with the canoe. No, with the... Yeah, look, it's a canoe. Oh. That would break his shins. <laughs> The scream. <laughs> so much screaming in this movie. He 
he recovered from that surprisingly well. Well, not a lot happened to him. I mean, his shins might be hurting, but... Oh, here come the tyres. He does seem determined not to kill them, doesn't he? Yeah, maybe he's got a heart after all. He's like, I just want to shoot Robin Williams and that's it. <laughs> I don't kill women and children. I have morals. Yeah. And standards. A certain level of standards. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Stop your cringing woman. See, yeah, he's just going oh, after the guy with the dice. Okay, yeah. he's got standards. <laughs> Stop cringing woman. You wouldn't get that in a movie now. What, the cringing bit? Or the fact that you called it a woman? <laughs> I think you'd still get woman. I think they still do that in movies now. Oh, this is going to kill him. Oh, no. He just stood there staring at it. Paint? Paint. That would kill you. I'm genuinely curious as to why they use the same actor for the dad and the thing. Was there some sort of joke there? I think there's symbolism. Oh. Yes. There's a higher level of art form in our jungle movies. Oh yeah, she's been missing for a while. No, she went to work, didn't she? Oh, is that what it was? She's going to come to town and see just anarchy. Yeah, the stampede will just go right across in front of her. Isn't that exactly what happens? He I does. She... Going to yeah, happen, yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, a cassette. Oh, that date set. Oh dear. It's funny how people thought things like cassette tapes and video and videos would last and they got so outdated so quickly. Yeah, as soon as anything went digital then that was that was it. And same with DVD as well. Yeah, it all went digital. Oh the, oh, the monkey, monkey in the cart. These monkeys are probably mischievous. Oh, I like that them. one's out of breath. There's, there's one rhino's behind everybody else. Poor and like, we told you you should have dieted, Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah. straight and Saw dish. that coming. Oh, he's still attached to the door. He's going to saw himself out, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, he's got to be some sort of father figure. Because mentally, he's still going to be about yeah, 10 or 11. Yeah, yeah, he is. But they both, both sort of are. Oh, it's a man-to-man chat. He's like, I'll teach you how to shave, don't worry. Oh, he's going to cry. Little monkey tears. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally whimpering like an animal. Well, he is. He's a monkey now. Yeah, he is. He look. He looks a little Grinch-like. He does look like. What are those people in the Grinch? Do they have a name? Yeah, they're like. Because it's Whoville's the place. That I was going to say Whovians, but they're that's Doctor Who fans, isn't it? But yeah, he looks like the villagers from the Grinch with the weird nose. He's got a tail. <laughs> is that what it is? I think it's he's got a tail. <laughs> oh. This looks wrong. I Imagine know. you just turned on your TV at that moment. <laughs> just Robin Williams bends down behind him and you hear a rip. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit weird. Again, context is everything. Oh no. This, this is where we're gonna get the monsoon. To be honest, this the house looks cooler now. It does. It's like um hmm. Rainforest Cafe. Is that an actual cafe or Yeah, you get rainforest cafes and it's like it's set out like a rainforest inside and you just eat. No. Where's the closest one to us? London, I think. There's one in Leicester Square in London, I think. Is there? Yeah. Not bang on the square, but no, just yeah. on one of the streets that I've comes I've never noticed. There. I've been to the Angus State place that's in Leicester. I might be wrong, but I think it's when you go towards the bit with all the billboards. 
Piccadilly Circus. That is Piccadilly Circus, isn't it? Yeah, that's not Leicester Square, though. No, but it's the street that goes from Leicester Square to Piccadilly oh, Circus. I think it's on that. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically, as you walk past M&M towards... M&M Store. Yeah, go towards, past M&M Store. Towards uh, Piccadilly Circus. Oh, she almost got taken there. I might be completely wrong. What about the location? <laughs> Like beyond wrong, <laughs> but I'm sure there if, is if one in London. Next time I'm walking around there and I don't see it, I'll text you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be a while before we're going down that way. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh, the card that gets taken. Yeah, he is. That having... bit looks very fake. Yeah, he is having the worst, 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 worst. I feel death. so bad for him as well. Like he was a good guy. And the shoe he had. Are you looking, looking there? Yeah, it's just down the street from Piccadilly Circus. Ah, but it's not on the road between M and M store and thingy. It's on the. You go to Piccadilly, Circus and you can take the other road. Someone called. So you wouldn't be on that. It's on Shaftesbury Avenue. Yeah, it's not on the bit that we. I was thinking of. But. But I would, I would think I was close enough. Yeah, you were close enough. But what I'm saying is, if I walked down the street that we we were talking about, we wouldn't yeah. see it. And there's a lot of picture of it. So it's like set out like a rainforest. It's just a restaurant. Is the food good in there? I don't know. I've eaten in there in donkey's years. What, did they, what sort of food do they serve? Jungle food? I think it's just a standard cafe, like burgers and... Oh, so it's just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah it's a pretty standard thing. It's just, it's just like a rainforest setting. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, monsoon. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, he's like, come on now, don't be silly. Like inside the house. Yeah, but it, not it outside. Floods really quickly as well. Why don't they play this outside then? I guess everywhere outside would have flooded then. I don't know. They just they're rounding off the movie. Because <laughs> I think they go up and up and up, and there's like crocodiles and stuff. Wait, do these two get together afterwards? I think so. Oh, happily ever after. I, mean, I think they actually go back to the moment they he disappeared. Oh, really? I think they go back in time. Oh, so they actually get to live their lives that's, normally. That's cute. And he writes all the wrongs. Like, he gets um, the police officer's job <gasps> yeah, back in the factory. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carl! Yeah, hooray for Carl. <gasps> yeah, look how quickly it's flooding. It's a monsoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Save the game. Yeah, he suddenly becomes like that. There's the crocodiles. He's all grown up, mate. That crocodile looks really fake. The, yeah. he- the head of it looks really fake. Where's that? A oh, floating table. Yeah. So let's swim away. But you need to grab the game as well. This is, this is Lake Placid all over again. Yeah, it's like um, Jaws, where it's just a giant rubber monster. Yeah. Surely the chandelier would give way. Mm, it's quite a big one, so I reckon the. Yeah, it might take two kids. I don't think it'll take all four of them. <laughs> this is basically Jaws. It is a bit, yeah. Except I don't think she's going to get eaten at this point. No, but that bit where he pulled him up by the down. tail. He pulled him up by the tail. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Easiest thing to grab hold of. Oh, come on. He's doing the whole superhero thing. What a hero. It seems every bit they get slightly action-y with the creatures. They do this like slow motion fade effect. Mm. He's clearly wrestling a giant prosthetic prop there. I mean it is obvious it's like um, when you go to a theme park and they have like creatures in yeah, the water yeah, yeah. those yeah does she open it and water comes out oh she's going to open the door yeah it's probably nothing of course they're going to get swept away he's struggling so much oh no <laughs> Mistake. Yeah, run. <laughs> they just stood there. <laughs> so are those 
Oh no, the crocodiles can survive out of the water, they'll be fine. <laughs> He's trying to swim away from her. Well, there we go, we are reaching the end game here. Is this the last thing? Or they have to roll it again, I think it's the very last thing. I think they have to roll it one more time. I think it goes like out and out. I think it goes rapid fire now. They just keep rolling. Oh, for goodness sake. Just uh, This is like Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Except there's two doors, so one of them doesn't have to just sink. <laughs> Poor Carl. Yeah, he is having the worst day. He's had the worst 26... I think in some ways he's had worse worse than these two. Yeah. I'd love to see the movie from his perspective. That would be... Well, it might be a little bit boring in the middle of his life. Yeah. But just the exciting bits. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, the... Uh... She's like, oh, you wrestled an alligator for me. <laughs> he just goes, it was a crocodile. This is he idea. full on pied her off there. That's embarrassing. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll like <laughs> the, the girl, Kirsten Dunst, pulled a little face through like, yeah, feel your sister. They may get another moment later. Yeah. He's like, it's not that part of the movie yet. <laughs> <laughs> More with the screams. Right, they must be about done here. Come on. Surely... It's the last roll, isn't it? Oh, he's made a Cluedo joke. And <laughs> they're all just like, we're not up for this now. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. Let's just end it. Seven. Most common roll of a dice. Is it? Yeah. When you roll two dice, seven is the most oh, common number to come end. up. Oh, quicksand. Oh, no. He's going to sink into the floor. There we go. Oh, they have to roll it again quickly. Surely he's poking out into the room below him. Yeah, he is. So he could let himself... Isn't the lion in the room below? Oh, is it? Yeah, and then she quickly has to start... Seven again. See? See how common seven is? <laughs> you will learn. Oh, it stopped. So she goes back at in. <laughs> I'd be in the same situation I'd be like can we hurry this up now <laughs> if he hadn't cheated on his go he could probably win here because he only needed 10 last time 4 wait so she went from not liking him to liking him yeah oh what a beautiful relationship oh, it's mental but beautiful Oh, oh no. spiders. Why don't you quickly just roll? Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, it's they, the they woman's look, turn now. They look very plasticky, though. <laughs> yeah, the spiders look rubbish. Oh, he's making him run all the way down to the shed for an axe. Yeah, but we all know that he's the bravest and the coolest one. Here. Yeah, the one who actually gets things done. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's just carry on. Just roll. Oh, nibbling on her <laughs> car. He was just sort of stroking her legs a bit. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Oh, what a situation to walk into. <laughs> like, you're better off just staying outside for a bit. She's going to see him as a monkey now as well. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's going for an axe and he's trying to chop the no. door open. Oh, he's actually <laughs> looked down the camera. <laughs> he broke the fourth wall. <laughs> it's a really rusty axe, though. I know. Oh, there he is. 
Oh no, she opened the door to the lion. Oh, she's gonna find the lion. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the claw marks in the door. He's like, get out. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm a monkey now. <laughs> yeah, best to just leave her in the cupboard. <laughs> best place for her. Let's be honest, she wasn't helping. She's just no. gonna panic. Might as well just keep her somewhere safe and just finish yeah. the game. <laughs> we'll just put her away for a bit. Wait, what happened to Carl? Is he outside? Not I down. think so. He's just gone, forget this day. I'm He's done. like, I'm resigning. Oh. oh no. She's been poisoned. Oh no, is she gonna die? Yeah. They've gotta quickly finish the game, don't they? Yeah. Ugh. So selfless. Ah. Smack him. <laughs> Smack him. Smack him. That's not how I'd be using <laughs> Shove it on his face. <gasps> Oh, there we go. She's nearly there. Earthquake. Well, it's all falling to pieces here. He's trying to blow it away. <laughs> Where was the earthquake? Yeah, I'm waiting for the... Oh, uh, here we go. I think the floor will start giving away and stuff as well. It's weird, it was really slow towards the movie, now he's kind of rushing through it. Yeah, they were just like, right, let's get this thing over with. Oh. Oh no, they, they need the board. <laughs> what, a massive canyon is being... Yeah, it's literally split in two. Help me. Oh. oh, the game's gone. Can we close the doors? He's gonna fall, here we go. He's going to swing down, play the game, and finish it? Yeah, I think he's going to finish it, yeah. Oh, oh, there's the lion. What a cutie. No, everything's determined just to try and get him as much as possible. That was very Tarzan-like. Yeah, well done. Come on. We can do this. He's going to have to finish it, because Kirsten Dunst just died. Oh, yeah, that's true. He's covered in paint! <laughs> He's been off paintballing. It's not a real gun. He's just been playing paintball. He's been on stag do. Oh, mistake. I'm sorry, okay. Oh, a one and... All the way down to the base. How many does he need? See, we don't know how many he needs. No, he's not going to run anymore. He's learned to stand up to bullies. Oh, I mean, how much does a dice really roll? Come on. He's now learning from his father. Who is this guy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's sounding like his dad too. Jumanji. There we go. Jumanji. <laughs> what? He's got a weird gold tooth as well. <laughs> That's quite cool. That's quite well made, actually. There we go. Right. So, happy days. Save the day. Everything's going to get sucked back in. Yeah. Surely he'd be the first to go, not just watch it all happen round him. I'm confused, right? So the, the first roll, he got sucked in. Ye but as you play yeah. the game, it spits stuff out? Yeah. That's a bit weird, isn't it? <sighs> the whole thing's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to try and explain or justify it. Like, the game pretty much decides what it wants to do as you play along. It's not the sort of game I like to play. We didn't see The Rock or Kevin Hart the whole way through. I'm very confused by this. 
Where is the rock? We want the rock. We love... There's two things... <laughs> There's three things we love. The Rock, Zac Efron, and Stanley Tucci. Oh, I love Stanley. And this had none of them. <laughs> See, they're back. They're back to being oh. kids. Have a nice little cuddle as well. Oh but it's weird. God. They'll have gone through puberty and now regressed. Yeah, they've got all... taken a step back. They've got all this life experience, but they can live it again. That's quite cool, oh, actually. His is like jungle experience. Yeah. Is this, Do you think he's still a oh, spoiled little dad. brat? Daddy! Oh, he hugs Dad. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come on now. You don't behave like that, son. I lied. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no. Right, now go sort out Carl's future, please. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. Oh, they've made up. That's nice. But can we, yeah. can we help Excuse Carl me, now, Carl please? needs a job back. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Hello. He's like, oh, it's fine. If he's able to get girls who are three years older than him, he must be doing something right. Oh, they suddenly have a perfect oh, relationship. Beautiful, beautiful. Now he's going to save Carl. <laughs> there we go. He's finally done the right thing. See? He yeah. cost the guy his job rather than just do that. <laughs> right, everything's good. They're happy. Carl's on like, his job. I'm going to leave you to your lady friend, son. Yeah, at the age of nine. <laughs> yeah, he's just grinning. <laughs> Did he just say holy smokes? Uh, oh no. They're not here anymore. Yeah, they've not been born. So they've still got their parents' death to look forward to. Hooray. No, they're not even alive, those guys. Yeah, exactly, so oh. that's still to come. But they don't know. <laughs> what they don't know won't hurt them. Oh, and now we're jumping. Ah, oh, they're going to throw it into the river. What, for someone else to find? No, with bricks attached to it. So they're hoping it'll just sink. But Jumanji finds a way. Why does no one just destroy it? Take a, take a hammer or two or something. Do you reckon you can destroy it? I don't know. <laughs> they haven't even tried, have they? <laughs> just, That's the thing, they haven't the even tried. The first guy's just buried it. These no guys one's... are just chucking the river. No one's taking an axe to it. I mean, it's going to get found again. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, told you they'd have their moment again. Yeah. He's like, oh, cool. <laughs> Good times. Good reaction. Nice. Right, walk around. I thought he was going to hold her hand. Well, that's he's what like, I no, as well. he's still got his special relationship with his bike. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that bicycle so much. <laughs> but he was stroking it. Oh, come on. Now they're dragging this out. Yeah. Oh, they're jumping forward to back to Robin Williams, so it's them as adults. Oh, and there's Carl. Oh, Carl's in... Oh, this is amazing. Oh, she's pregnant. She's having a baby. And those don't look Wait, appetizing. Wait, no, the kids are someone... They come back. They're, oh, so they're they the, finally meet the kids. Yeah, the children are like... Uh, the children of... Do the children know? So they were born and they knew this was going to happen. Sorry? The children, when they were born, knew this, this was going yeah. to happen. So when they meet these, they recognise them. Yeah. But that means they also, like you said, they would know that their parents would die. Unless they try and prevent it. Ah. Oh. I think that's the kids' parents. <laughs> try not to be too creepy. You've never met them. Oh, no, no, no. They don't know them. The kids aren't aware. Yeah, so the kids don't have a clue. Ah, oh, okay. All right, I'm with it. Okay, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. No, they've obeyed the sort of time travelly yeah. rules here. Yeah, yeah. Good old MJ. 
Just like we remembered you. See, he's messing out. This is just awkward. I don't like this. No, I don't like it at all. Like, the animals are gone. Where are the CGI monkeys? Where's the CGI MJ? They're just creepy, you know. I think this is pretty much wrapped up. Get it? Oh. oh. Excellent. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> Oh, because they know that they're going to die on that trip, so they're telling them not to. Huh? Oh. If you were at that party, you'd be like, oh, they're weird. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But he's also the son of a very wealthy businessman, so you'll put up with it for a while. He's just weird. I wouldn't trust him around the kids. <laughs> In no. those, like, one minute, he just was weird on, like, four separate occasions. Oh, here we go. Does this just keep going? Oh, uh, this is someone washed, else finding the game. He's washed up on the thing. So this thing, destroy, he just goes around in circles. Yeah. Now you just ruin There's no else getting away life. from it. Oh, Jumanji. And that's us. Well. Jumanji. It was a uh, a good reminiscing... It was reminiscing an experience, thing. yeah. It was. I think I sort of enjoyed it this time more than I did when I was a kid. I can't remember how much I enjoyed it as a kid, but yeah, I, I thought it was alright. It, yeah. it was Decent. a lot more sort of backstory than I remembered it being. Yeah, they faffed a lot. <laughs> yeah. But Robin Williams is Robin Williams, we can't moan about that. No. And I like the little kid. Yeah, I don't expect to like the little kid as much. I really like Carl, he was my favourite. <laughs> to be honest. I don't think I enjoyed Carl, Carl the first time I watched this film. Yeah. I think we get him more as an adult now. Yeah. Like, we realise yeah. how yeah. unfair it is. Yeah. Like, we, we understand Carl. He's had a rough time. <laughs> But it all worked out for him in the end. I hope he made money off those shoes he designed. I hope he did all right. They never really they never said. really explained, no. But I'm assuming like, the factory, yeah. factory did well, so they're all right. He got his job back. I think they were all doing fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all good. Right. This is the bit where we rate it. We oh, give yeah. it our rating. So, What's I'm, our score going to be? I'm going to give it... Scale. What's our scale going to be? That's what I'm going to work out. Yeah, I'm going to give it... Uh, 23 father figure hunters <laughs> <laughs> 23 father figure hunters out of 34 23 out of 34 23 father figure hunters out of 34 I'll give it 20 oh you're going to go slightly lower yeah you know why it's not a film I would watch again until another 10-15 years yeah do you see what I mean That's but why. it sets us up for our adventures with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson yes when it, it does returns. yeah yeah which we yeah. will try and find and do at some point Absolutely. in the near future. That is the plan. Excellent. Right, I think that's us. That is us, us done. I hope you enjoyed fun. it. Yep. And we'll see you in yeah. the next episode of Movie Commentary. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> right, please remember to like, subscribe, leave some comments, let us know how you felt, and any suggestions for anything else you want. Any please other do. movie commentaries or any other ups and downs. Yep. We're more than happy to oblige. Right, I think that's us. Ciao. Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> so bad.